Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and I wanted to do a video today talking about PS4 in 2018. Now, as you know, Sony absolutely knocked it out of the park last year. Um, I don't think the PlayStation 4 actually got enough credit for how well it did in 2017. I mean, commercially, uh, the console shifted like 10 million units globally in six months, and it also um, like bettered its best ever MPD resort in the United States in November, and that's the despite it going up against the massively hyped Xbox One X and the resurgent Nintendo Switch. So with the PS4 now working towards its fifth birthday, um, I was wondering like, how can it possibly maintain its record setting pace? Uh, what does it need to do to stand out against some of the strongest competition that it's actually faced since it released in 2013? And in this video, I'm going to look at five ways the PS4 can keep its nose in front in 2018. But before I get into my suggestions, please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel because we're going to have lots of PlayStation 4 and PlayStation VR content all through the year. With that said, let's get into it. Okay, so my first suggestion for Sony dominating 2018 is an obvious one, and it's games. So Sony's software lineup in 2017 was really strong from January all the way through December, um, and looking at the release schedule for this year, it's already shaping up to be a similar story. So things get underway in a matter of days with the likes of Digimon Story, Dissidia, and of course Monster Hunter World, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, and if you have any doubts about the rest of the year, then do check out on pushsquare.com. We recently posted an upcoming PS4 games in 2018 article, and it's got like 50 games in it, and they all sound amazing, so do check that out. But one thing I'd really like to see Sony do in 2018 is to put out all of the big first party games that it's been talking about for honestly a couple of years now. So while they don't all have release dates attached at the time of recording, the company's been fairly clear that we'll be playing God of War, Marvel's Spider-Man, Dreams, Days Gone and Detroit Become Human all in 2018. And all of these titles have appeared at multiple press conferences over the years, but I think the time for talk is over and it's time for Sony to put these games in our hands and let us play them. So I think the second thing that Sony needs to do to dominate 2018 is simply to surprise us. I think if you look at the PlayStation press conferences last year, they were always going to have difficulty following up from E3 2016 or PSX 2016. Um, and the content that the company showed us at Paris Games Week at E3 last year was still really good. Um, but the problem was a lot of people came away from them disappointed. And I think the reason for that is because Ghost of Tsushima aside, um, the company really failed to surprise us. You know, the likes of Lo The Last of Us, the likes of Spider-Man, the likes of God of War, they all looked brilliant, but they're all also sort of known quantities. They've had their sort of shock and awe moments already. Um, and I want to be surprised in 2018. I think it's a big ask at this stage in the generation to ask a platform holder to keep surprising you, but Sony's always done a brilliant job of bringing new and interesting projects to the fore, and I hope that it continues to do that in 2018. So my third suggestion for Sony to dominate 2018 is to keep banging the PSVR drum. So Sony's bet on virtual reality, to the surprise of a lot of cynics, I think is really paying off. Um, more people are starting to try the technology now. Um, the device's sales have been very brisk since its release in 2016. And more importantly, it feels like PlayStation VR is something major for the manufacturer now. It feels like it's an entirely new medium that the company is actually controlling commercially, obviously Oculus and the Vive are also doing well, but PSVR is really dominating this market at the moment. And I think the company's commitment to PSVR last year suggests that 2018 is going to be a big one for the headset, um, and that's all I could really ask for. Obviously there were concerns that it might go down the path of an iToy or a Vita or whatever, but that really hasn't happened, and I want to see the manufacturer continue to flex its muscles in this sector by bringing prices down, signing up more software, and generally championing what is a mind-blowing new technology in my opinion. So my fourth suggestion is to bring the PS4, the Slim specifically, 
down to $199.99 as its official price in the US. Now, I've predicted this before. Um, it did happen in 2017, but only very briefly. It happened for Black Friday, and unsurprisingly, it propelled Sony to its biggest ever MPD victory, uh, suggesting that the system's really going to explode at retail when it hits that aforementioned MSRP price point. Now, with a whopping 70 million units sold as of 7th of December, the manufacturer's certainly going to be looking now at that all important important 100 million units milestone and frankly while 2017 was the device's best selling year to date there's really no reason why a price drop and a little game called Red Dead Redemption 2 can't help the hardware to better that in 2018. Things are going to have to slow down for the PS4 eventually, it can't keep breaking records every single year, but Sony's still got that $199 ace in its hand before the box finally begins to tail off. Now my fifth suggestion for Sony to keep dominating 2018 is quite a widespread one uh, that covers a lot of bases but I think it's an important one and it's to continue to meet fans expectations. Now as we know fans are the evangelists that help build a brand um, and I think it's important that Sony doesn't lose the spirit that catapulted the PS4 into its current position and that means that it needs to continue working hard to ensure that PlayStation is always is the best place to play and whether that means it's delivering off requested features like PlayStation Network name changes or simply ensuring that the quality of the monthly PlayStation Plus games is always good I think it needs to keep working hard to make sure that its fans are happy and all of these things will ultimately help shape the climate around the console so as long as word of mouth is positive and people are turning on their PS4s regularly then that's good news for Sony's bottom line and it's also good news for us because it means we're going to be satisfied with the PlayStation experience and keep getting great games and great features and all the things that we like. So that's my suggestions for Sony to dominate 2018, but what do you think? Am I on the money with this list or do you think I've missed something important off? Let me know in the comments section below. Do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope to be uploading a lot more videos in 2018 than I did in 2017. So if you're new to the channel, it's a good time to join us. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.